My dad's a uh, veterinarian and I've worked with him for 25 years. From the time I was little I just always had a love for animals and I didn't, we didn't grow up having a lot of, a lot of pets so I slowly accumulated more and more. I have four cats now and one dog. So it's no surprise that Danny Bishop and Tessa Young followed their dreams to St. Matthew's School of Veterinary Medicine in Grand Cayman. We're exactly situated where we want to be. Um, I think that they at St. Matthew's, they're getting much more experience with large animals and farm animals than they would at any other um, university, definitely. Um, we also have the benefit of the small animals, but yes, the fact that we have the goats and the pigs, the horses and the cattle is a, a huge bonus. In the past, students studied animals in the classroom. Now the lessons are coming to life, thanks to a new program with the Department of Agriculture. Well, the department has for a long time been doing rabies vaccinations to facilitate animals to be exported and re-imported back into the Cayman. So in conjunction with St Matthews, we're now conducting those vaccination clinics here at St Matthews Teaching Facility. It gives the students the opportunity to handle live animals, uh, interact with the client, do a full clinical examination. And it has the advantage for the students that they get to do some actual hands-on veterinary medicine. Plus, for the client, they often pick up any little problems and we refer them back to their own veterinarian if they need extra work. Not only do we feel like we learn a lot more by getting the hands-on experience, but we enjoy the experience a lot more. And I think that's what makes it so much more beneficial to us is when we're enjoying ourselves, we tend to um, learn a lot more and learn a lot more efficiently. I love working with the, the DOA vets. They're, they're amazing. They, they're, they want nothing more than to help us out you know, and, and show us everything they can. Um, they take us out on special calls, on individual calls. They're helping us with grinder on cases so we go to present a certain topic to them and, and build our experiences on our way to clinics. The veteran vets aren't just teaching. They're learning from the students as well. It's different. It's, it's good for you as a practitioner because as you've been around a little bit long, longer, you get a little bit uh, casual in some of the things you do. You learn a lot from the students and uh, you give them the wealth of your experience. A lot of them are much more up to date with new techniques and products, etc. than people who've been in the business for a long time. It makes me feel good that we are, are stepping, like uh, technology is improving and, and uh, research is improving as well, so that we, we are learning a little bit more and we're able to give back to it so much that they've given us. In addition to the rabies clinic, vet school students venture into the field and visit local farms. We usually head out um, about once a week and we go and see a, a certain farm uh, around the island. Any, any of the owners of the farms will, are very gracious and very willing to help us out, um, build our experiences. Um, any given day we can go see a bunch of goats and tag them and deworm them or go see a cow or pull a baby or fix a horse. It's, it's very random. <laughs> it's so much more exciting to be out of the classroom because we spent four semesters um, straight in classrooms and now we're starting to get out and get the experience and the lab time is wonderful. I really didn't have much experience with um, the large animal because my father is a small animal practitioner. And part of the dilemma I face is that as I go and take board exams and the clinical proficiency, I'm going to have to have the skills on large animal too. So coming here to St. Matthews has given me the opportunity to get my hands on a lot of, a lot of large animals. And with the DOA doctors, we're always in small groups, so it gives us a lot of opportunity to really practice our skills. The joint effort between the school and the Department of Agriculture is attracting prospective students. I think it is answering some questions that some applicants might have. In other words, are they going to have exposure to live animals uh, during the program? For example, I had a, a, a student who has applied to start in January who uh, came and saw me in my office on campus but also wanted to come out here and see this facility and uh, sort of be reassured that you know we, we are going to have them you know touching real animals <laughs> that sort of thing and getting the experience of working with animals doing physical examinations and that sort of thing. You can bring your animals like this little fella to the rabies clinic every Tuesday and Thursday from 1.30 to 4. Just make an appointment in advance.